Now students, in today's lecture, we are going to study indirect reaction cholinergic agonist. And in this lecture, we will particularly discuss those indirectly acting cholinergic agonists that are actually the reversible inhibitor of the enzyme that is acetylcholine esterase. So we may also call these agents as reversible anticholine esterases or the reversible anticholine esterase agents. Now, what are these agents? Before going into detail of these agents, you must know that what is the function of acetylcholine esterase. Basically, acetylcholine esterase is an enzyme that is present in your body. And function of this enzyme is basically the breakdown of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine into acetate and choline. So, Basic function of this is acetylcholine esterases is the termination of the action of acetylcholine. According to the text, according to Lippincott, these enzymes that are acetylcholine esterases are located both presynaptically, this is a presynaptic membrane, and postsynaptically. So, now we have two locations of these acetylcholine esterases. First location is presynaptic membrane second location is post synaptic membrane but we have most of the research articles indicating that these acetylcholine are actually present post synaptically as also represented in the this figure of the uh, Katzen book Katzen pharmacology so we may say that mostly these enzymes are present post synaptically this is one thing to remember secondly these are actually the membrane bound enzymes. As you can see that this is acetylcholine esterase and it is not free, it is not moving freely in the, this synaptic space, but it is attached to this post synaptic membrane. So either present on presynaptic membrane or on the post synaptic membrane, you must remember that these enzymes are actually attached to the membrane. They are not moving freely in the synaptic space. So this is acetylcholine esterase enzyme, which is attached to the post synaptic cell, which is attached to the post synaptic membrane. Now, this figure from the Levin code is actually representing the function of acetylcholine esterase. The function of this acetylcholine esterase is breakdown of acetylcholine into acetate and choline. So, what are the inhibitors of acetylcholine esterase? These are the inhibitors which will actually cause the breakdown, uh, which will actually block the uh, enzyme, which will compete with the acetylcholine for the enzyme. Now they will occupy the active sites of the enzyme and will not result in the degradation of acetylcholine. So they will not uh, allow the acetylcholine to be uh, degraded by the enzyme. So there will be no termination of the action of the acetylcholine. Now, what are the other name, other names of the inhibitors of acetylcholine esterases? Other names are anticholine esterase, anticholine esterases, or anticholine esterase agents. Now, another name is choline esterase inhibitors. So, what is their main function? Their main function is the preventing the degradation of acetylcholine, increasing the level of acetylcholine increase actions of acetylcholine. So ultimately what is happening, there is accumulation of acetylcholine in the synaptic space. So more acetylcholine will be available to provoke the response at cholinoreceptors. Cholinoreceptors of both uh, of ANS, including both muscarinic receptors and nicotinic receptor, also the nicotinic receptors which are present on the neuromuscular junction. And these acetylcholine will also activate the receptors, will activate those cholinoreceptors which are present in the brain as well. So, what are the indirectly acting acetylcholine esterase inhibitors? So, examples include ambinonium, tonibazil, adrophonium, which is most important, which we will discuss in detail in our next video lecture, galentamine, neostigmine, this is also very important, physostigmine, this is also important, pyridostigmine and vivastigmine. So these are the indirectly acting reversible inhibitors of the enzyme acetylcholine esterase. Now, 
In detail, we will classify these agents into two main categories according to our text, according to our articles. These are short acting and the intermediate acting. So among these drugs, the short acting drug is actually the adrophonium, which we are going to discuss in our next lecture. And the intermediate acting ones are ambiphonium, neostigmine, physostigmine, lunipazine, galentamine, and drivastigmine. So, students, this was all about the functions of acetylcholinesterases, classification of the reversible inhibitors of acetylcholinesterases. So, in today's lecture, we actually classified these reversible agents into two main categories, short acting and the intermediate acting. So you must remember this classification according to the duration of action of these agents.